welcome to our new video. For today's video, we are going to talk about elements. But before that, let us have a recap about matter. Now look around you. Did you know that everything that you see is a matter? Matter is anything that occupies space, has mass, and has volume. Now, what are the classification of matter? Matter can be classified into two. If it doesn't have constant properties and composition, then it is a mixture. While if the matter has constant properties and composition, then it is a pure substance. Now, under pure substances, we have elements and compounds. For today's video, we're going to focus on elements. But before we go further with our discussion, allow me to share with you our learning target. First, we're going to describe elements based on their composition and properties. Second, we're going to describe briefly the history and basis of naming elements. And, we're going to classify elements into metal, non-metal, and metalloids according to their properties. Everything in nature, from the mountains and the oceans, to the air we breathe and the food we eat, is made up of simple substances called elements. An element is the simplest type of matter. It consists of only one kind of atom, and therefore cannot be broken down into simpler type of matter by any physical or chemical methods. Now, if you're gonna look at the periodic table, there are 118 different elements. Each element has a unique physical and chemical properties, and therefore, no two elements have the same set of properties. Dmitry Mendeleev is a Russian chemist who developed the periodic classification of elements. Mendeleev found that when all known chemical elements were arranged in order of increasing atomic weight, the resulting table displayed recurring pattern or periodicity of properties within group of elements. In the past, some elements are named after places, countries, continents, scientists, planets, and even satellites.
On the periodic table, you can see that the elements are classified as metals, non-metals, or metalloids. The metals can be found on the left side, except for hydrogen, which is a non-metal. The non-metals are on the right side, and the elements immediately adjacent to the line are the metalloids. Metals are good conductors of heat and electricity. And they are malleable, which means they can be hammered into sheets. They are also ductile, which means they can be drawn into wire. Most of the metals are solid at room temperature, with a characteristic of silvery shine, except for mercury, which is a liquid. Metals have a high melting point. They are also very dense. A chemical property of metal is its reaction with water and oxygen. This results in corrosion and rust. Non-metals are usually poor conductors of heat and electricity. Non-metals are brittle, so they break easily, therefore, they are not malleable or ductile. They do not have a luster, which means they are dull. Non-metals have low density, they also have low melting point. Many of the non-metals are gaseous at room temperature while others are liquids and solids. On the other hand, the metalloids are intermediate in their properties. In their physical properties, they are more like the non-metals. But under certain circumstances, several of them can be made to conduct electricity. These semiconductors are extremely important in computers and other electronic devices. So that's it. See you in our next lesson. And if you are new to my channel, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and hit the bell notification so that you will be notified for more videos like this.